Monica, welcome to Cologne. Welcome to Startup Cologne. Do you want to introduce yourself? Pleasure being here. So my name is Monica Mikatz uh, and I'm Chief Business Officer of QEV Technologies, uh, electric mobility company uh, based in Barcelona. Okay, Barcelona, but you are from Croatia, right? Exactly. Exactly. So, and the company is based in Barcelona. And what's a, what, what are the products and what's the business model of the company? So there are three different fields of the company. Uh, one is electric racing, where we are leading a Formula E Mahindra team. Uh, another segment is uh, R&D, uh, where we develop uh, electric mobility solutions for other clients in the automotive industry. And we are basically able to develop full car from first design until the finished product, everything in-house. And then we noticed um, that our technology could have mass market impact. Uh, so there is a third segment of the business uh, where we developed electric kit uh, that uh, can convert any minibus uh, to electric. We started with market in Philippines by converting their jeepneys uh, to electric ones and basically the same business model can be applied in other countries in Africa, in uh, India, in South America and other markets. So, okay, this means other car manufacturers that come to your company for buying actually the real car and then just putting their brand on it or uh, Is so your tele technology also behind te Tesla? or uh, It's not behind Tesla, but uh, we work uh, with some famous companies in the automotive industry. Usually automotive industry is super secretive, so you cannot reveal much of the things that you do for other car manufacturers. And nobody will ever know that uh, part of... Uh, technology is not from you know BMW usually the, or, or some other companies uh, most of those big, those big companies they buy components uh, from suppliers and they do the final assembly and they do part of the development in-house for example one of the clients uh, that we work for is a famous Chinese company bike um, they actually produced uh, most electric vehicles in the world last year, even more electric vehicles than Tesla did. And uh, they have this electric car division and we are their research and development center in Europe. And uh, we developed and produce uh, Arc Fox 7 uh, electric supercar for them. Okay. And what's, a, what's a secret sauce in two minutes of an electric car? What makes it so hard for companies like, like Tesla or any other established manufacturer? Yeah, I, I think there is no secret sauce, but think about it. Um, all of the big manufacturers, uh, they work on the same way for ages. And then you have this new segment, electric vehicles. Um, actually, first uh, cars were electric. Uh, and if everybody continued to invest so much money as was invested in regular gas-powered cars, who knows where we would be with electric cars, but nobody invested money. And then all of a sudden, you know, world started to change. And that's why Tesla was able to succeed and to compete with those big guys, because electric cars were new for everybody. And it was actually a place for smaller company to get their place on the market. But how does the electric, so just the, the engine, uh, let's consider, make it easy, yeah? it's in, in, in the, in very narrow terms, it's just the engine which changes. Or, and how much does the, this electric engine change the whole business model and the go-to-market approach for such a company? It's, it's not changing um, a lot of go-to-market work because it will be the same, but it's changing um, production process. It's also changing development process that they already have established. And it's changing it's changing the whole platform of the car. Uh, so, you know, w think about from a perspective of big, ma big manufacturers. Um, when they are developing new Golf, they use different things from the old one they already have. And now you have electric cars. Electric cars are a uh, completely different platform than gas-powered cars. You have different architecture. If you look at a Tesla, they have battery in the floor. Um, so it's different architecture of the vehicle than it is with a gas-powered car. And due to that, you need to change so many different things. And also, um, you know, uh, if you think about electric vehicles, they are 
now they are also connected and uh, they are com becoming autonomous. So many things are changing and I think those big manufacturers, they're really slow. And that's why, you know, somebody who is a startup is more flexible and more fast to react to those changes and to bring innovation to the market. And what's, your, what's the reason for you coming over to Cologne to join Startup.com? So I was participating at uh, one of the panels, uh, the Future Mobility panel, and uh, it was really interesting discussion uh, with uh, some other startups uh, from the industry, but also um, with the big companies like BMW and Hella, uh, and listening to the views how all of them think that the future of electric mobility uh, is going to evolve. Okay, what do you think? How is it going to be in evolving? So the conclusions from the round table of today were that the future is definitely going to be electric, but it's going to be connected and autonomous. And then I said, okay, not to spoil everything, there are always going to be some enthusiasts and they are going to drive their supercars, but also those supercars are going to be electric. Okay. What else do you take from Cologne, from startup con apart from very smart conclusions? Uh, it, it was really nice experience. Uh, I met a lot of interesting people. I also learned about uh, some other interesting startups that are currently on the market and I'm happy to see that uh, there is a bright future ahead of us with all of those young people working on something new and uh, something interesting. Cool, that means we'll see you again next year. Definitely. Great, thanks a lot. Pleasure being here.